Hey folks, everything new under the sun. All right, I want to show you Automator. Is it obsolete? And uh, please disregard that fan in the back. My iMac is installing some software, and it's really loud. But I want to look at uh, Automator in the year 2017. There's not been a lot spoken of it. What is Automator, you may ask? Well, it's an app on uh, Apple OSs, Apple operating systems. In this case, it's on uh, Sierra. And it is an application that you use to automate tasks. It's really cool. It's drag and drop. You pull icons down. You say, uh, here is uh, you know the Finder folder, and I want you to do something with the files in it. If the files are greater than 100 megabytes, you know I want you to send them to another folder. And so you basically drag and drop tasks from this automator thing. Um, and it comes with a whole bunch of uh, uh, triggers or events. Uh, like calendar events and contact events and files and folders. So you can do all sorts of things like um, create folders, find items in folders, uh, find folder contents, uh, mount disks, etc. And uh, like I say, not a lot of people use it, but I finally found a use for it. I'm rendering videos for YouTube, and uh, I noticed that when I was saving to my Drobo, uh, rendering videos took a long time because the Drobo is disk-based, whereas my uh, MacBook Pro has an SSD. And I found if I save it to the SSD first, it processes in, well, not not zero, but processes a lot faster. And uh, and so, and plus my MacBook Pro is a laptop, and I don't want to keep it connected to my Drobo via FireWire all the time. So if I'm uh, creating videos, it makes sense that I would create them locally, and then have it, you know, uh, move them to the Drobo later for, uh, for long-term storage. Uh, the, the problem is I don't want to do that manually all the time, so what I did, I thought, oh, I could use Automator for that. I can use Automator to find the files if I save the same folder every time. I can uh, and and Automator will check at one o'clock in the morning. Effectively, that's what I have happening here. And uh, it will copy. It will I not copy. Will move the files from my SSD over to my Drobo for long-term storage. So what I did was I I, pull, I dragged a, a couple uh, items, uh, trigger or events, whatever, uh, from the left taskbar. And first, um, the first event is Ask Finder for Items. So it's checking on uh, desktop and it's looking for files. Um, and it's, it's looking uh, basically uh, in, uh, where's my other, this is, not, this is not the one I want to do. Let me open the one, open my recent one. This is my Move Videos uh, Automator app. So that, yeah, this is the one. So what it does is it looks in the video processing folder at 1 o'clock. Uh, but I'll show you that after. Uh, it looks in the video processing folder, and if it files, finds any files in there, it copies them to the Drobo, which is my archive videos uh, folder, and it moves them. It doesn't just copy. And you can see at the bottom here that it actually uh, did. It completed the task because I tested it. And, um, and then when you click Save on Automator, you can actually have it um, load up or use a calendar event as a trigger. And when I did Save As, it created this move videos um, thing and one of the uh, alerts is actually an option to open a file and it actually opens up an automator file so then I just have this repeating every day so every day at 1 1 a.m. in the morning it will move the videos if it sees any videos in my in my process videos folder it will copy them over to my Drobo automatically hands off iCal and automator does the work for me so that is a really cool way to automate what would otherwise be a manual task of me um, uh, moving files, so that is that's pretty cool. I just want to show you that to you, show that to you, and um, you can see the automator uh, calendar event there in the side. So that is really cool. That's completely automatic, and uh, is automator obsolete in 2017? It's not. You just have to be creative uh, about what your you know what is your workflow. What are you doing with it? What makes your tasks faster? Likely, automator has a way to automate stuff. It also has a really cool feature where you can actually record something and it will actually record um, you know files and folders that you're going into and it will perform the same processes so if I look in video processing and I see some files there I could you know uh, command A to copy them and uh, drag them over to archive folders and it will record uh, those movements and create them into a timeline for me so that I can then uh, go ahead and save it and save it as an iCal event and that would do it as well so you can build it from scratch uh, or you can use this uh, recording. You can see the, the recording here in the center um, to record your actions 
and then it will repeat those actions like I say every time you do that so just wanted to bring that to you here is so here is what it recorded here is this what it recorded I think this is what it recorded yeah watch me do yeah 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 here's here's a list of things it, it uh, bring the window desktop to front did a whole bunch of stuff anyways I don't need that in mind so I'm not going to save that uh, but just an example um, so you know this is not in depth but is uh, automator obsolete in 2017 absolutely not I just found a new reason to use it uh, pretty cool pretty powerful stuff you can do all sorts of things with mail you can automate some mail, uh, mail tasks you can automate internet tasks filtering emails you could probably use it to pull down uh, your daily website uh, news uh, etc you can mark articles man you can do uh, so much you can open text files uh, move text files around you can uh, move videos uh, play videos um, capture you know video from your, your webcam on an automated uh, basis you can aut use automator to uh, play slideshows to uh, use presentations and auto automatically start slideshows at different times so you can take this to a you know some event and having sit, have it sitting on a desk and play through a bunch of uh, uh, presentations slideshows so that's pretty cool you can also uh, there's also actions for uh, contacts etc so is it obsolete in 2017 no um, and I didn't go real in depth here uh, but it's just like I say the sum of it is automator is a way that you can uh, make a whole bunch of uh, menial or, or uh, regular tasks that are the same every day um, you can automate them through this this thing. So it's a pretty cool tool. So hope you found that interesting. Let me know. Do you use Automator for anything? Have you used it in years? I've not used it in years myself personally. But like I said, I just found a purpose. Uh, found a need for it. And, it, and it, it just works. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think of Automator. Okay.